Happy Sunday, kids. It's Pastor Steve, and we're talking about Jesus in the book of John when Jesus goes to a big party. All right? There's times when you get together with friends or family. Maybe you eat a meal. Maybe it was Christmas Eve or uh, birthday parties. You get together and you celebrate. There's reasons to come together and have a good time and celebrate. Um, I was thinking for birthday parties, what is something, and we've talked about this before, I think, what is the one of the most important things of a birthday party? It's some sort of cake. I used to have ice cream when I was a kid, but a, a birthday cake. Like imagine there being you going to someone's birthday party and maybe they have the cupcakes or a big slice of cake and they're cutting the slices of cake and they're giving them out to different people and there you are kind of looking for your favorite piece and excited about when the cake is going to come to you. And imagine that they run out of cake right before you get a slice. Wouldn't that be sad? Yeah, I'd be very disappointed because I like cake and cupcakes and desserts and ice cream, but, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here about Jesus saving a party. He went to, uh, 2,000 years ago, he went to a wedding and back then wine was an important part of a wedding celebration and they were going to run out. And Mary tells Jesus to go and to somehow make more wine so no one gets left out. So there's enough uh, wine there so the party could continue. So it's not sad for those people who are having the party and have run out. God saves the party. Jesus saves the party by making sure there's enough wine to go around. Isn't that amazing that Jesus went to weddings? That Jesus went to parties? That Jesus ate food with disciples? Some of the things, you know, I know not all of you have been to a wedding, but one day, if you haven't been to a wedding, you're going to go to a wedding and see a beautiful bride and a groom get together and celebrate and have some, they have cake there too, and have some cake and music, and there's a great celebration. Jesus cares about everyday things. He turned water into wine. He made sure that a party didn't end badly, that the people who threw the party weren't sad and other people weren't disappointed. Jesus cares. He cares about things. We know that Jesus cares about like really big things and important things, about people who are sick and, and about um, you know salvation, right? Being forever friends with Jesus and forgiving us from sin, those huge things Jesus cares about. But he also cares about smaller things. Things maybe, maybe you don't care about this wine at this wedding and you're like, who cares? But then there's sometimes you have problems and maybe other people don't know about your problems or care about your problems. But you know who does? Jesus. It's amazing that the God of the universe who made everything cares about you. He cares about your problems. He cares about your disappointments and hard days. Jesus is with you, and Jesus is for you. God cares. He cares, and there's a billion people in this world, and still he knows about you, and knows your name, and loves you, and cares about your day. So when you pray to God, you can be sure that Jesus cares, that Jesus is there, and he cares about your problems and your troubles. Some other people, some people care, some people don't care. But Jesus does. He saved the wedding. He saves people from sin and brokenness. And he loves us and cares for us. Let's pray. God, we thank you, Lord, that you are the God of the party. You're a God of celebrations. You bring joy. You bring food for everyone. You welcome so many to your table, Lord. You do not forget us, even if we're little and young, even if we can't read you care about our problems, about our ouchies, about our sad days, about those days where it's hard to make friends and we're feeling lonely and left out. God, we thank you that you're so big that you could help us, but you also care about these little things. Lord, help us to know you and to trust you. Thank you, God, for being a God who cares. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, friends, let us worship the Lord in song.